Hey guy lovers and welcome back to another video. Although depression is typically associated with humans, cats can also experience feelings or periods of depression. Many different reasons may lead a cat to feel depressed, such as the loss of a loved one, a move, boredom, or injury. And your cat is likely to express their feelings through their behavior. However, as most cat guardians know, cats aren't always the easiest to read. That's why we decided to compile a list of common signs. If you enjoy this kind of content, subscribe to the channel for more cat videos. Now let's discuss 10 of the most common signs that your cat is depressed. Number one, decreased activity. One of the biggest signs that a cat is depressed is a change in their activity levels. Cats that are depressed will usually act lethargic and tired with much lower levels of activity than normal. Although it is normal for cats to sleep a lot, most average between 12 to 18 hours a day, depressed cats will sleep even more than they usually do. Like many of the signs on this list, it is important to know what your cat's base level is. Every cat is different and some cats sleep more than others. The way to tell if your cat's sleeping patterns are indicative of depression or another underlying condition is if they have changed. If your cat is normally sleeping around 15 hours every day and suddenly they are sleeping for 20, there is probably something deeper going on. You may also notice changes in your cat's waking behavior. Depressed cats may act lethargic and tired, displaying low energy levels throughout the day. Your cat may be uninterested in activities they previously loved, and they may not show excitement or engage in playtime. Number two, changes in grooming. Grooming is very important to most cats, and they spend a lot of time keeping their coat clean and healthy. Therefore, if your cat is suddenly neglecting to groom their coat, or they are over-grooming it, it may be a sign of depression. It is not uncommon for depressed cats to stop grooming their coats as often as they used to, or they may just stop grooming altogether. This will lead to a change in the appearance of their coat. It may lose shine and appear unkept. A depressed or mentally unwell cat may also begin to overgroom, which can lead to rashes, scabs, and bald spots on their coats. The condition of a cat's coat can tell you a lot about how they are doing, so it's important to be observant. A healthy cat should have a healthy coat. It should be shiny and vibrant. So if your cat's coat is looking unkept, dirty, or overgroomed, it is a sign that something is wrong. Number three, changes in appetite. As is the case with decreased activity, noticing this symptom is very reliant on you knowing your cat's usual behaviors and activities. Every cat has a different baseline for their eating habits. Some cats eat more than other cats, some cats eat at different times than other cats, and so on. With this in mind, you won't be able to notice a change in your cat's appetite unless you are observant and aware of what is typical for them. This is why it's so important to be tuned in to your cat's behaviors and habits. If your cat is depressed, they may lose their appetite and begin to eat less food. Your cat may show little to no interest in the foods that they previously loved or eat much smaller portions than usual. If this goes on for too long, your cat may lose weight and their physical health may wane. Plus, if a cat suddenly stops eating, they are at risk of developing fatty liver disease, a buildup of fat in the liver cells that can occur after a period of not eating. This condition can be very serious and it requires veterinary attention. As such, it is essential to be aware of changes in your cat's appetite and eating habits. Number four, changes in routine. Cats are creatures of habit and they rarely like to stray from their daily routines. As most cat guardians know, cats easily fall into routines. They tend to sleep in the same places, eat at the same times, and spend their time in the same areas of the house. If your cat is suddenly differing from their routine, they may be stressed or anxious. Your cat may suddenly begin to isolate themselves and sleep in an entirely different room than they usually do, or they may spend their time in more secluded areas of the house. Again, this is dependent on what is normal for your cats. Some cats like spending more time alone than other cats, but if you are noticing changes in your cat's routine, either gradually or suddenly, it may indicate that your cat is either stressed or depressed. Along the same lines, a depressed cat may lose interest in activities or games that they previously enjoyed. They may not enjoy playtime or may avoid spending time with you. Number five, displays of aggression. One of the most upsetting symptoms of depression in a cat is aggression. Sadly, depressed cats will often lash out and react with aggression. They may start displaying aggressive behaviors towards their guardians, other pets, or other people. Signs of aggressions in cat include hissing, snarling, growling, scratching, clawing, and biting. These behaviors can not only be very distressing, but they can also be dangerous. An aggressive cat should not be handled lightly. It is a serious issue that needs to be addressed. Otherwise, you are putting yourself, others, and your cat at risk of injury. Plus, aggression in a cat usually indicates an underlying condition. An aggressive cat is likely in pain, either physical pain or mental pain like depression or stress. Therefore, it is important for everyone involved that they receive care and treatment. So if your cat is acting aggressively, it's time to visit your veterinarian. Number six, body language cues. 
While aggressive behaviors are an extreme manifestation of depression, many cats will display more subtle cues in their body language. If a cat is depressed, they will likely show it in their body language, though it may not be very noticeable. Learning to understand a cat's body language is very important, as it can tell you a lot about how they are feeling. A depressed cat will have some telltale signs in their body language and posture. They may display similar behaviors as scared cats do, like tucking their tails underneath them or pinning their ears back onto their heads. They may also act very hesitant and nervous with a tense body and limited movements. Their hair may stand up straight on their backs and their eyes may appear wider than usual. As mentioned earlier, a depressed cat may also exhibit angry or threatened body language. They may appear very wary or scared of their surroundings. They may also appear disinterested or apathetic. Again, it depends on what is normal for your cat. Like humans, cats have very complex and varying personalities. However, there are some obvious red flags in a cat's body language that can be indicative of depression or another underlying issue. A happy, comfortable cat should not act scared, stressed, or angry. While it is normal for cats to experience a range of emotions, if they are experiencing these behaviors for extended periods, it may be a good idea to visit your veterinarian. Number seven, digestive problems. Even though depression is an emotional affliction, it can have very real and physical effects on a cat. Some cats, when depressed, will have impacted GI tracts. For example, they may act nauseous or throw up, or they may also have diarrhea or constipation. While it is not particularly alarming for a cat to experience one of these symptoms in a one-off occurrence, it is of concern if it lasts for an extended period. If your cat's digestive problems do not resolve themselves within 24 to 48 hours, or they seem to be worsening, you need to take your cat to the vet. These symptoms can be indicative of many different underlying health conditions in which depression is only one of many. Regardless of what is causing your cat to experience GI issues, it is important to seek out professional veterinary care to get relief for your cat as soon as possible. Number eight, neglecting the litter box. This sign of depression can be particularly disruptive as it is messy and frustrating. When a cat is depressed, they may choose to urinate or defecate outside of the litter box. Even fully litter box trained cats can experience this during a period of depression. There are several different reasons why cats will choose to neglect to use their litter boxes, but emotional issues are often the cause. Stressed, anxious, depressed, or angry cats will often choose to relieve themselves outside of the litter box. Your cat may opt to urinate or defecate in other areas that they spend a lot of time in, including lookout spots and potentially your bedroom or bed. Sometimes if a cat has gone into a depressive state following the loss of a loved one, they will urinate in areas that they spent a lot of time in. It's thought that a cat will do this to cover up the scent of the missing loved one with their own scent. As a cat guardian, this behavior can be very frustrating. It can even feel personal. However, it's important to not lash out at your cat. Rather, seek to resolve the issue with help from your veterinarian. Number nine, changes in vocalization. Another aspect of your cat's behavior that may change if they are depressed is their vocalizations. Depending on how much your cat usually meows, they may meow more or less if they are feeling depressed. Some cats will meow much more than usual, even incessantly if they are feeling down. The noises that sad cats make are often different from the noises that happy or content cats make. Oftentimes a sad cat will make low-pitched, drawn-out meow. They may also yowl or cry. You may find that cats who are quite vocal are significantly quieter, or cats who are usually quiet are significantly louder. Like most of the signs on this list, it is all about deviation from the norm. Most of the time you will notice that your cat is depressed through a change in their behavior. A depressed cat may also purr more than usual. This sign can be confusing because most people associate purrs with happiness and relaxation. While cats do often purr when they are content, they will also purr when they are injured or upset. For many cats, purring is a self-soothing technique. A depressed cat may purr more often as a way to comfort themselves. Number 10, scratching. Some cats may lash out when they are depressed and they may take out their frustration on your belongings. Cats who are depressed may start to scratch much more than usual as a way to relieve their stress. Unfortunately, they may begin to scratch your furniture, walls, or floors. This can be especially upsetting for a cat guardian as the damage may be expensive to repair. However, it is important not to get angry or yell at your cat. Rather, take note of the change in their behavior and talk to your veterinarian about their depression. While you and your vet are working with your cat to bring up their mood, you can invest in scratching boards and posts to redirect your cat's nervous energy. Now that we've gone over the list, it's time for Cat of the Week. This video's Cat of the Week is Cuddles. Her guardian says, We found Cuddles by the side of the road in early 2008. She could barely open her eyes. She grew out after a couple of years and became exceptionally fluffy. She loves a snuggle, is quite talkative, but we wonder if the gears are turning up in that head of hers. She's incredibly docile, but not very patient when it comes to food time. Congratulations, Cuddles. Keep being possum. 
To enter your cat for a chance to be featured, visit the entry link in the description box below. As always, we would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Also, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up because it helps other cat lovers find our content. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next Catter Day for another video.